NordVPN Guide, set up an HTTP proxy You can set up NordVPN HTTP proxy on various browsers. Currently we have tutorials how to set up proxy on Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Safari, and Internet Explorer. It's a great alternative if you wish to use proxy server instead VPN. All of our VPN servers have HTTP proxy assigned to them. Here is a tutorial how to set up HTTP proxy on Chrome, 1. Open Google Chrome. 2. Click on the Chrome menu, which is in the top right corner of the browser window and then press Settings. 3. When Settings open, scroll down to find Show Advanced Settings. Click on it. 4. Then scroll down to find Network section. Click on Change Proxy Settings. Button. 5. A new window pops up. Press LAN Settings. 6. On another new window check the box Use a proxy server for your LAN, these settings will not apply to dial-up or VPN connections. 7. For address enter one of Nord server's addresses. You can freely choose any server you like from this list NordVPN server list at https slash slash nord.com slash server slash 8. In the field port enter 80 and press OK. Note, if you want to ensure a full privacy you should not check the box bypass proxy server for local addresses. 9. Press OK also on the previous window. 10. When you will try to access a site you will be prompted for the username and password. Enter your NordVPN username and password and press login. Congrats! Your Chrome configuration is completed. In order to check whether it really works, go to what is my IP address website. There you will see the IP address of your chosen server. Cheers! Here is a tutorial how to set up HTTP proxy on Firefox. 1. Open Mozilla Firefox. 2. Click on the Firefox menu, which is in the top right corner of the browser window and then press Options. 3. Options window opens. Click on Advanced. It can be found at the bottom of the menu list. 4. Choose Network tab and click on the button Settings. 5. A new window pops up. Choose the following manual proxy configuration. 6. In the HTTP proxy field enter one of Nord server's addresses. You can freely choose any server you like from this list, NordVPN server list. Also, check the box use this proxy server for all protocols. 7. For port, enter 80. 8. It is optional to choose the box do not prompt for authentication if password is saved. If you choose it, then once you save credentials for proxies, the authentication will not prompt again, unless it fails. 9. Click on OK. 10. When you will try to access a site you will be prompted for the username and password. Enter your NordVPN username and password and press OK. That is all. Your Mozilla Firefox configuration is done. If you want to check whether HTTP proxy really works, go to what is my IP address website. There you will see the IP address of your chosen server. Here is a tutorial how to set up HTTP proxy on Opera. 1. Open your Opera browser. 2. Click on the Opera menu, which is in the top left corner of the browser window and then press Settings. 3. When Settings open, scroll down to find Network section. Click on the button Change Proxy Settings. 4. A new window pops up. Choose Connections tab and click on LAN Settings. 5. On another new window check the following box Use a proxy server for your LAN, these settings will not apply to dial-up or VPN connections. 6. For address enter one of Nord server's addresses. You can freely choose any server you like from this list NordVPN server list at https slash slash nord.com slash server slash 7. For port, enter 80. Note, to ensure a full privacy do not check the box bypass proxy server for local addresses. 8. Press OK. 9. Click on OK on the previous window as well. 10. Once you try to access a site you will be prompted for the username and password. Enter your NordVPN username and password and press sign in. Congratulations! The configuration is completed. If you want to check whether it really works, go to what is my IP address website, where you will see the IP address of your chosen server. Cheers! Here is a tutorial how to set up HTTP proxy on Safari for Mac. 1. Open Safari. 2. Open Safari menu and click on Preferences. 3. A new window pops up. Go to the Advanced tab and next to the Proxies you will see a button Change Settings. Click on it. 4. 
In another new window you have to choose the protocol to configure. Thus check the box web proxy, HTTP. 5. In the web proxy server field enter one of Norton's server's addresses. You can freely choose any server you like from HTTPS slash slash Norton.com slash server slash. 6. Next to it enter the port, which is 80. 7. Check the box proxy server requires password and enter your NordVPN username and password in the authentication fields. 8. Press OK. 9. You might be prompted for the username and password once more when you will try to access a site. In this case, enter your NordVPN username and password and click on OK. Your Safari configuration is completed and from now on you can browse anonymously. In order to check whether it really works, go to what is my IP address website at http colon slash slash what is a me IP address dot com. There you will see the IP address of your chosen server dot cheers. Here is a tutorial how to set up HTTP proxy on Internet Explorer, 1. Open Internet Explorer. 2. Click on the Internet Explorer settings which is in the top right corner of the browser window and then press Internet Options. 3. A new window appears. In the Connections tab click on LAN settings. 4. Another new window pops up. Check the box Use a proxy server for your LAN, these settings will not apply to dial-up or VPN connections. 5. In the address field enter one of Norton's server's addresses. You can freely choose any server you like from https slash slash Norton.com slash server slash. 6. For port, enter 80. 7. Click on OK. Note, if you want to ensure a full privacy you should not check the box bypass proxy server for local addresses. 8. Press OK also on the previous window. 9. When you will try to access a site you will be prompted for the username and password. Enter your NordVPN username and password and click on OK. Finished. Now you can browse anonymously using Internet Explorer. To check whether it really works, go to the aforesaid what is my IP address website. There you will see the IP address of your chosen server.